Hey, my name's Louis with Savvy Digital and today we're going to be going through how to unsuspend a Google business profile. It's a very common issue and it happens to pretty much every Google business profile at some point in their life. It's something not to panic about and it's a very easy fix when you know what to do. So we're going to be going through what information needs to change to get your Google business profile unsuspended. So when you get the message, it will commonly look like something like this, where your business is no longer visible to customers and the access has been suspended because of the guidelines haven't been followed. So you've gone against some sort of policy or violated some sort of guideline that Google has in place to make sure their business profiles are accurate and safe for the customers. With that as well, you might get an email that informs you that your profile has been suspended. Sometimes it will explain to you why it's been suspended, such as in this one with the address, but most of the time it won't actually give you any information and just say it's been flagged for suspicious activity. So to go about actually amending this situation and making sure that your business profile is correct, what you want to do is first of all, go ahead and go to the support page, such as the one here, which will be linked down below. From here, you can first of all review the business profile guidelines, which will be on this page here, and you'll be able to see what actually fits you within those guidelines and what your business could be violating. The most common one that we see is potentially that your business is firstly not eligible for the business profile. Most businesses are, but there are select fews that aren't. Uh, with that as well, you could be signing from the wrong account. You could be signing from a location that they don't kind of recognize. But the most common ones that we do see come down to the actual business information being inaccurate. So first of all, you want to have the accurate name for your business, how it should appear and what's on the front of the store if you have a brick and mortar store or how your customers know it if it is a digital business. So you don't want to put in any keywords or stuff any keywords into the name itself to try and get you know more local SEO because you will be violating the guidelines and someone can report you for that, which will make suspicious activity pop up on your account. Uh, with that as well, if you have a virtual address or you have you know an address that is sort of used by multiple other locations, that could also flag some issues with your account if they see that it's kind of being manipulated in a way that doesn't follow the strict outlines that they have in place here. And with everything else, you genuinely just may make sure that all of your business information is as accurate as it can be. And once you've gone through all of the different things on the guideline page here, you can go ahead, sign back into your profile, make sure that everything's edited and up to date. And then you can go ahead and ask for reinstatement using their Google business profile form here, which I'll go through on how to use in the very next video. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments down below and also like and subscribe to the channel.